everybody. This is Angelo Quinones and Yurish I Am Ministries. I Am Ministries, I chuckle because my wife is here. I Am Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holiness by word, the Bible. And we're looking at this series within a series. Uh, we're doing the full Greek construction of John 1.1. And uh, what would take detours on, and you know, um, uh, often on detours, you know, uh, from John 1.1. And it's just like being um, going to a, a, a tour site. And your main heading is the Empire State Building. But you want to look at the Freedom Tower. You want to look at Madison Square Garden. You want to look at Times Square. You want to look at, uh, at Central Park. You want to look at, uh, at uh, the, the foots of the World Trade Center. You want to look at, uh, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things to look in New York. Look at it in New York. So we're we're, we're doing that. We're do, we're we're going to different places where the discussions, campaigns, and debates rise up between us, born again children of God, okay, Trinitarians, by the way, and uh, those, the JW, so called Jehovah's Witnesses, because they're not really witnessing for Jehovah at all. Now, <clears throat> this is called the Trinity in Genesis, and you do see the Trinity in Genesis. Okay, now an unbeliever might may say to me, well, and you know something, you know, I don't see the word Trinity in the Bible, but if it was in the Bible, then they'll have problems with that also. They'll say, well, the word Trinity is there, but the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is not, and not and not, you see? So they're always going to pick and choose. I mean, you know, if you don't like uh, some kind of food or something like that, then, I mean, I don't like fish in the Philippines. I mean, and my wife doesn't like corned beef. I mean, so if she gives me fish, which she doesn't, okay, then I'm going to look and say, well, I don't like this and this and this and this and this. So if the Trinity was there, meaning the, the word Trinity, because it's not there. But incarnation is, is not there also. We believe that Jesus became flesh. That's what the word incarnation means, in flesh, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not in the Bible, but we teach that Logos became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Okay? So that's just the deal. So if Trinity was here, everywhere, let's say the word Trinity was in all 66 books of the Bible. Let's say if it was in all chapters of the Bible. Let's say if it was all verses of the Bible. Okay? They still have a problem with it. So the word Trinity was there, but then, you know, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit were not. Well, they'll, they'll, have, uh, they'll say, well, yeah, the Trinity is there, but uh, where's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? That's not there. Now, that's there, okay, here, and they still don't believe in it. So if you don't want to believe, you're not going to believe. That's just all there is to it. All right, now, um, let's get to this famous saying... Okay. It's so famous I can't find it. <laughs> That's just a deal. It's famous saying um, recorded in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Where God says something like this quote. And from the NASB quote. Then God said, let us, look at that. Let us make man, Hebrew word Adam, anthropos in the Greek. But we're going to check out the Greek situation and in the Hebrew. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Okay? And let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over uh, the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing. But look what God says of himself. He doesn't say I will create man in my image and in my likeness. So he says, no, he says this. Then God said, let us. See that? Plural. Okay? That's a plural a pronoun. Okay? For a, a first person, first person, uh, first person personal uh, pronoun. Okay? Us. In the plural. Then God said, let us make Man, in my image? No, in our image, according to our likeness. So he has three plural personal pronouns describing himself. You see? It says us, our, and our. Not my, my, and my. You understand what I'm saying? Let me create man. You know, he's thinking to himself. And say, let me create man in my image according to my, you know, likeness or whatever you want to call it. 
He doesn't. Okay? Now, remember that Genesis is the introduction of the Bible. So this is a very uh, good strategy by God to let you know, little by little, about the <clears throat> Trinity. Yes. This is the introduction of the Bible. Just like the Book of Romans is the introduction or really the key to understand, okay, the Bible also. So the key to understand the two Testaments are the Book of Genesis in, in the Old Testament and the Book of Romans in the New Testament. I mean, those are the key books to understand uh, the Bible. Okay, now remember this. The Old Testament is in the Old Contained. The New Testament is in the New Explained. The Old Testament is in the Old Concealed. The New Testament is in the New Revealed. Okay, the Old Testament does not explain the New Testament. It's the other way around. The New Testament explains the Old Testament. That's the rule our hermeneutics, the biblical art and science of biblical, the art and science of biblical interpretation. Hermeneutics is, is actually is a Greek word found in recorder. I think in John. Let's get to this again. It says over here in verse twenty-six. Then God said, "Then God said." In Hebrew, it will be Wa Yomer, Wa Yomer uh, Elohim. Okay, Na Ase Adam. Na Ase in Hebrew means "Let us make." And then Adam means man. Okay? Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let's look at the let's look at the Greek Subtuagent. The Greek translation of the Jewish scriptures done and recorded about the third century or second century of BC. Now let's check that out. Actually done in Alexandria, Egypt, of all places. You understand what I'm saying? Can there anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes. Yes, and and, and, and and this is the thing about the King James Only advocates that they say, well, these manuscripts uh, were found in a cave or were found in a cellar or were found in, like, the ground. But didn't Jesus come from the tomb? Didn't uh, Joseph come from the earth? You understand what I'm saying? Not initially, but you know what I mean. He was thrown there by his brothers. You understand what I'm saying? Wasn't the Apostle Paul lower down in a basket? You see? What about that? Then, uh, you know, uh, Noah and his wife and his uh, sons and his sons' wives come from the ark. Huh? What about those things? You see, so don't tell me about things, you know, and, and, and then people, like I said before, say, can, you know, uh, Jesus comes from Nazareth, you know, a Nazarene. Well, can, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Well, you know, implying that, well, the thing that comes out of a certain place or the, the, person, that, the person that you're talking about that comes from a certain place has to be like the place. Come on, stop. Okay? This is the deal. Anarchy, a huh? They ask, Tanuran and Kaitain gain. A poison there is an aris tense, and um, that's a finished, completed action. But we're looking at actually verse 26 of the book of Genesis, the book of beginnings. You know what I'm saying? The introduction to the Bible. Now, uh, let's check it out. Let's check out the construction. Then over here, Kai Apen Hafe as Poesomen. Hmm, poesomen anthropon. Let's just stop there. The Greek word kai means, one of the meanings of kai means an. Okay? Actually, in Hebrew, it will be ve in the modern sense of it all. Okay? Uh, va in, uh, in biblical Hebrew. But you get the idea. Actually, ke nowadays, I don't know if I just mentioned that. Kai is pronounced ke in uh, biblical Hebrew. Uh, Greek. Then the word for said, okay, that's third person, apen, okay, means said. He, she, it said, or whatever the case may be. You understand what I mean? Now, uh, that's just that deal. Now, um, well, they didn't have cell phones at that time, so I mean, it said, I mean, you know, but when the scriptures could have said, because, you know, it said, you know, like that, so, you know. <laughs> Kai apen hafe as. Hafe as is in a nominative singular masculine construction. You know the paradigm. You understand know what I'm saying? This is talking about the God of Israel before he became the God of Israel. Okay? 
Now, uh, you know the paradigm. They ask, they ooh, they oh, they am. Throw in there if they air for free. They oi, they own, they ois, and they us. That's the full Greek paradigm for God. And there is a paradigm, okay, for um, Elohim also. See, different constructions found and recorded all through the Bible, including the famous verse 14 of chapter 3 of Exodus. Okay, that's another construction altogether. Kai a pen hafe as, okay, and um, God said, so the verb is, is first here, okay, a pen said. The verb could be anywhere in Greek. In English, it's not going to be just anywhere, okay? It has to say, and God said. The verb comes after the noun, you understand what I'm saying? Kai e pen hafe as, poi esomen atropan. Now, what's poi esomen? Well, this is the deal. First of all, this is not a command. Okay? It's improper to call this a command. This is a subjunctive. Okay? This is a horori, horori, subjunctive. Okay? <laughs> That's just the deal. This is an exhortation by one of the members of the Trinity, and we don't even know which one, okay, exhorting the others to make man. You understand what I'm saying? Horori, subjunctive. Poi eso, man. Now, a subjunctive is the, the mood of probability or possibility, okay? I might go to the store. My wife may go out, okay? Whatever the case may be. That's not saying that she's going to go out or, I might, or that I'm going to go to the store. That's, that's the indicative mood. The subjunctive mood is telling you something that may or might or whatever the case may be happen. But this is, this is um, an exhortation because there's different uses of the subjunctive. You understand what I'm saying? This is an, an exhortation of, 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 by one of the members of the Trinity exhorting the other two members to create man. You understand what I'm saying? Now the animals, uh, the creeping things, and the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea were already uh, created. Okay? This is the capstone of God's creation. The punctuation mark of all creation is man, who was made after the image of God, actually. And woman was made after the image of man. Kai e pen hafe as poi eso men. Now let's check this, break this, this word apart. Now before I do, I want to say something like this, okay? That verbs comes, okay, I mean in parts, Parts. You ever saw a solid rocket bo booster from the space shuttle? I mean, you had like maybe four parts to it. And you ever saw a rocket, a pieces of uh, the rocket uh, detached from each other in NASA uh, space uh, uh, center? And they're just, they're, they might be in trucks or whatever the case may be. And they're just, you know, part by part. There's just, you know, there's one hole, but they're parts. Well, that's what you're trying to do with a Greek verb. You're trying to take it apart, okay? Why? Well, you're trying to see what is uh, how it's behaving in a text. Now, this is this is a subjunctive. So the subjunctive goes something like this. Check this out. The plu this this begin backwards. Poeso man. Well, we're, well, somebody may say, well, if they if they can trace this, actually, uh, uh, if they have uh, 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 Strong's so or if they have uh, uh, the GK uh, system, whatever the case may be, they'll look at this word and they'll find poeo. Uh, and I'll say, wait a minute, this doesn't mean let us make. This just says poeo. I make. I do. Or whatever the case may be. It doesn't mean let us make. Well, that's the fallacy of the person who's looking only at the lexicon, the lexical form. You have to look at this according to the, con the according to the, the biblical form, the form that's in the, the the form that's in the Bible itself. And the form that's in the Bible is not poieo. Poieo is the um, the present indicative form found in the lexicon. Okay. I mean that that's just a deal. You're not gonna see ain when you when you trace. Okay, that Greek word, I uh, found it recorded three times in John 1, 1, A, B, and C, Alpha, Alpha Beta, Gamma. You're going to see Amy. You're going to see Amy there. 
You're not going to see Ain. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. That a Jehovah's Witness can see. And, 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 you know, let me, let's see what the Jehovah's Witnesses did with this verse. Let us make. They should have had that. But let's check it out. I never really actually checked that, though, to see if that's recorded in their app. <laughs> okay. That's just a deal. Let me check it out here. Um, let me look at a Jehovah's Witness Bible to expose it. Now, uh, if it comes on, I'll be great. Okay, it's not coming on. Let me see if I could just... Okay, there it is right there. Am I in Genesis now? Where am I at? A uh, book of uh, Matthew. So let's go back here. Okay, and I don't know what's the problem here. So let me just... Uh, let me look at it again here. Um... Let's see where this is at here. And this is just a deal. And they got a lot of advertisements, these people, in their, in their, in their app. You understand what I'm saying? So let's just cancel this baby here. And let's uh, get rid of these, these things. Okay. Uh, no. Let's press no. Okay. And hopefully it will be uh, coming up. Okay, there it goes. The Old Testament. And let me see if they say, actually, um, if they record, okay, um, let me see, there should be an X there soon. Okay, let me see if there's an X there soon, I don't know. Yeah, so much, so much stuff in their apps. You know, it's just, um, and I can't, I don't see the X to get it out, you see. Okay, maybe, okay, that's the X right there. Sorry about that, guy. I apologize, uh, guys. So, let's go to the Old Testament, the book of uh, Genesis, Behrashit in Hebrew there. Let's go to verse 26. Okay, all right. And let's see what they said. Now, then, let me see. So this is verse uh, 1. Wait for a second here. Let me go back to uh, chapter 1. Okay, and then verse 26, I have to scroll. And it scrolls very easily. That's the good thing about this app. It scrolls very easily. You understand what I'm saying? Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Look at that. Even the Jehovah's Witness app says the same thing. They couldn't escape it. Even they said that... They, even the Jehovah's Witness, the Jehovah's Witnesses actually translate this correctly. I know it's a miracle, but they do. Let us make man. That's what they said. Right here, here. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. You see? That's what they said. So you can't complain about me. Saying as a Trinity and a Jehovah's Witness actually <laughs> is teaching the same thing. All right. So let's get to the verse. This is this is an exhortation from one of the members of the Trinity, uh, telling the other members, okay, uh, speaking to the other members and saying, "Let's create man." Let's check this out. This verb out. Now, poieo is a lexical form. So how do you get poieso man? Well, I mean, it's a subjunctive uh, construction. Okay, one of them anyway. And so that's just the deal. So how you get it? Well, the personal ending and the end, men, okay. It, first of all, the omega is telling you before the, 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 the move, the M uh, there. It, it's telling you that that's a subjunctive. Okay, the, the omega there and on uh, boy eso men. Okay, so the omega is, is the sign, is, is, is the strong indication, okay, that this is a subjunctive, the mood or possibility or uh, the mood or prob uh, probability or possibility. So the omega is the true sign, it's just like eta can be the true sign in some other words, okay? So that's out of the way. So you know that's a subjunctive, okay? Now, when you look at poieso, man, uh, getting to the, to the back of the word, okay, men... Is the personal ending that's in the plural, okay? Now, 
obviously this is a primary okay active uh form primary active ending personal ending okay now you know that um the list goes like this nothing sigma iota men te n si with an with an n sound okay so also those are the personal endings in the primary uh, primary active okay and so the men is telling you that this is in the plural the the first uh first person plural men okay first person plural so men is telling you that this is in the plural that's how you get the plurality out of this word boy eso men so that's telling you this is plural okay so that's just a deal now um Now, actually, you have the stem here, okay, uh, poi a, the eta lengthened the epsilon and became eta, okay. The, the epsilon was lengthened to eta, and it's eta there, poi a. But actually, the lexical form is poi e. That's the stem, you know, meaning that's the stem. That's the stem of this word, the root of this word. The root of this verb is poi e. But the most important part of this, of this word is, Okay, to show the plurality of it, of, of uh, you know of it all is the men mu epsilon and nu. Okay, that's where we get the word okay us from this. Let us make, and then of course you have anthropon in the case it's a singular masculine construction. Okay, anthropon. Now, I already said that Adam is actually the Hebrew word okay uh, uh, for a man uh, there. Okay. Ish being another word uh, for man in the Bible. Isha actually uh, is woman, actually, in the Bible. Okay? Kai apen hafe as poi eso men. The omega is pointing out the, the, um, the uh, subjunctive there. Okay? Anthropon. Okay? So that takes care of that. Even the Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't have to fight too much because they... they, they now, I don't know about the New World Translation of 1950. I lived that in New York. Okay, but this app says, okay, let us an hour an hour. Okay, now, do you have an, uh, a similar structure like this in the Bible? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know where you have it? You actually have it found and recorded in Luke chapter 9, verse 5. Let's check that out. Now, remember the, st the structure. Poiesomen, let us make. And we saw that in, in the English. Okay, text. So let's check it out. Okay, and let's read that again from the English, the NASB. Then, quote, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And you have uh, kaf there. Uh, um, you have kata there in the Greek Septuagint. You understand what I'm saying? So, I icon actually is the word for image there, okay, in uh, the Greek Septuagint. But... Okay, let's go to the English. You stay in the English here, English Bible for a second. And let's go to Luke. Because I was trying to find the similar construction, okay, in the Greek New Testament, let us make. Okay, now we're going to see that the, that the Hebrew construction is the same for both Testaments. Okay, Luke chapter 9, verse 5, and Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, okay, is not I say all across the board. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just it. All right, let's go to Luke. As my uh, daughter has fun there. I think she's being changed. Luke chapter 9 and verse 5. Let's check it out. Uh, so something like this. We're going to look at the Greek. Praise God. He gets the glory, not me. Verse 5 says something like this. And as for uh, those who... Now, I hope I have this right. Well, let's uh, wait for a second here. Okay, let me see the dust off your feet. That's not it, though. Wait a minute for a second. It might be Mark chapter 9. Sorry about that, guys. Let me, Mark chapter 9. Okay. We'll get Mark chapter 9 up there. Good old Mark. Okay. All right. Mark chapter 9 and verse 5. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, right, here it goes. Peter said to Jesus, okay, that's, uh, you know, a pen, uh, Petras, uh, 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 to, 
Yesu. Okay, uh, Rabbi. Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make, there it goes, let us make, okay, three tabernacles, one for you and one for Moses and Elijah, uh, um, let me see, so, and uh, one for uh, Moses and one for Elijah. Now, this is the context, guys. The context is that Jesus was with uh, Peter, James, and John in, in the mountain of transfiguration. Okay, And Moses appeared with Elijah speaking to Jesus about the exodus, about the departure of Christ. You understand what I'm saying? Now, he says, he, doesn't, he didn't even know what he was saying, Peter. Let us make okay, three, three abus, three tabernacles. A one for you? Now, I don't know if he was saying, you know, uh, you know, Jesus, you can make this with us. Did he mean uh, the three were going to make it, meaning uh, the inner circle, James, uh, John, and himself? I don't know. It could have been the four. It could have been the three. It doesn't make it really a difference. But he said, let us make. Same construction in the Greek. Poiesomen. Same construction. Now, Let's look at it in this app, okay, before we get into the, until, until we get into another app to really see the breakdown, to really see it in front of our faces, okay? All right, so let's go to Mark, okay, you understand what I'm saying? Go to Mark's gospel, the gospel kata mark on, you understand what I mean? And let's go to chapter, uh, see, chapter theta, now it's called theta, I mean, it's just it. And let's go to verse 5. We don't have to really go that far. Hi, my love. We don't have to go that far. So that's just it. So that's just the deal. Yeah, verse 5 right here. Now, this is according to the Byzantine text form. Okay, this is not according to the most ancient authorities. Okay, now let me see if this is it. Uh, Kalan, okay, actually, let me see, Esten, it doesn't even say Peter there, okay, uh, this is the deal, uh, Jode, Jode, and guy, let me make sure this is his point, yeah, this is it right here, guys, just wanted to make sure, and it says over here, Rabbi, Rabbi, or Rabbi, it says over here, okay, Kalon, Kalon means good, Kalon, the uh, same uh, uh, word found and recorded for being uh, for Jesus being the good shepherd, found two times there, after he said, okay, um, or before he said uh, shepherd, he said I am the good shepherd. Well, I mean it could say it, uh, you know in the text in a different way, but still, but uh, this is the word he used. Okay, <laughs> I'm the good shepherd. Okay, kalon, a kalan. It is good. Okay, is is right here. Esten. Uh, us is there, uh, Hamas from the, um, from the Hamas paradigm, Hamas, Hamon, Hamin, Hamas, you know the deal, okay, uh, first person personal pronoun from the plural part of the paradigm in the case of case construction, Hamas, okay, Hode, okay, and I, now, that looks like a, that looks like a, that looks like I, that looks like a infinitive there, we can check that out. Kai and says poiesomen. Okay? Poiesomen. And skenas, uh, tabernacles. Okay, that's an uh, accusative plural, I believe. Uh, tabernacles. Okay, tres, uh, three. Okay, soy, uh, for you. Okay, and then uh, mian. Kai, um, and one, four. Mian. Okay, uh, moise. And Mian, one for, um, also for Elijah, also for, for Greek or Kai. They also can't translate that, that, uh, uh, that capillative connective uh, conjunction. Kai. But this is the deal. Boy, eso, man. It's the same construction found and recorded in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 in the Greek Septuagint. Okay? This is the plural nature of it all. Boy, eso, man. A subjunctive. Okay? An exhortation. Not a command. Okay? It's not do, do, whatever the case may be. In that construction over here, in this construction over here, okay, in the construction found and recorded in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, in the Greek Septuagint, it's not a command. 
Okay? This is an exhortation. You understand what I mean? Now, um, where is this again? So, poiesome is spelled out P-O-I-E-S-O-M-E-N. Okay? Or P, Omicron, Iota, Eta, now they called Eta, with a cube marker, Sigma, Omega, Mu, now they called Me, Epsilon, Nu, now they called Me. All right. You can leave the baby there, honey. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can birth the baby now. Okay, my love? It's okay? Uh, you going to bring it to, to to your father? Bring her, I should say? It's not there. Well, I, 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 no, but did you sit her up to burp her? Did she did she burp? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll be there soon, my love. All right. Now, <laughs> to birth the baby. I think I'll just have to be a good boy. So it says over here, Rabbi, Rabbi, uh, Kalon, it's good, it's good, is Esten, third person, okay, Poesomen, look at that, Poesomen, the same construction found in recording the Greek situation for let us make. So tell the witnesses that, giving them an example. Now, let's look at the, um, the Hebrew, let's look at the Hebrew uh, Old Testament, you understand what I'm saying, and let's get it right here, okay. But wait, <laughs> before we do, let's go to uh, Mark, okay, Mark chapter 9, verse 5, and let's see the breakdown right before our eyes, okay? That's only fair, okay? Just, be, just in case people really want to see for themselves, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So Mark chapter 9, okay, I hope this obeys my commands. Okay, that's just the deal. And that's just it. And so this is the deal. And then this is verse 6, but, you know, can't be picky about that. Let's get it out the way. And it says over here, and answered okay, um, Peter. So it's a little bit different. <clears throat> Remember, that's a Byzantine text form that I just read from. Okay, one of the forms anyway. And Greek word Kai, okay, answering, okay, uh, no, where is this over here? Apocrites, Apocrites, uh, answering as a ha, a uh, Petras, a uh, Petras says, Lege, that's from Lego, Lege, Lege, you know the paradigm, okay? Okay? As a, a, a third person, okay? The E, and you see the, uh, Iota is pointing that out. Okay, that's the that's the that's the um that's the true uh, uh personal ending for the uh, third person uh um a uh, third person uh, singular. Like Ento Yesu. Why does it say Yesu? There is no such thing. Okay, this is the, this word does not fu fully inflect. Okay, so you're gonna have to say for your construction. Okay, the paradigm. Jesus, 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 Jesus. That's just the case. That's just the deal. Rabbi, it says over here, good, kalon or kalan, it is, estin, for us, hemas, okay, for us, okay, here, hode, okay, to be, eni, and that's an infinitive, I was right about that. That's, uh, that's the alpha and the yoda pointing that out in the construction. That's a very easy thing to detect, okay? Uh, the, the, the infinitive of construction. Let's book the pair. And it says over here, okay, a present infinitive active, okay? All right. It says over here, to be, okay, a I, to be, and Greek word chi, let us make, let us make poiesomen. So what is it? Well, I've been saying all along as a, as a subjunctive, okay? Uh, let's check it out. It says of Aris, uh, Aris subjunctive active, okay, and then it says over here first person plural. Now you could take a picture of this. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, and attach it, mail it right to the post box of box of Genesis chapter one verse twenty six. You understand what I mean? I mean, you can mail this directly. I mean, like UPS or FedEx. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, you can, you can mail it. 
kiss the tower goodbye. You know how many people are leaving the tower? Because of stuff like this. You know, people hate to be deceived, guys. Especially women. I mean, if you're a woman out there in the tower, I mean, you must hate to be deceived by now. I'm just saying. The Corinthian couples left. The Setnars left. The Or left. The Ortegas left. Okay? The Dentures left. I mean, uh, Setnars, the, 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 the dentures, I mean, you know, it sounds like just like they were dentists or something like that. The, the, the dentures, the dentures, you know what I'm saying? Okay. A lot of cavities at the tower, I'll tell you like that. They're eating on fat and lollipops. That's what they are, the dentures. <laughs> Can't make it up, guys. But look at this, this is just Claudius. Let us make, this is in the New Testament. That's just a deal. Look at this. Aris subjunctive active. Now, one thing, okay, that I forgot to tell you guys about the sigma. Well, that's the Aris sigma, okay? That's also pointing out uh, that this is in the Aris tense, okay? Now, the omega is pointing out, let me see over here, this is a subjunctive, okay? And the man is uh, pouring out the, 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 pointing out the plural, the plurality of it all my english is getting very bad here in the states guys this is, this is i mean not in the states i mean in the philippines this hideous guys it's my fault i agree but still i mean it's really getting bad all right boy eso man okay but i forgot to tell you about the sigma okay the sigma is actually pointing out okay the um the, the Aris tense here, but just be careful because um, the Kappa can point out the Aris, okay, in a me verb, okay, so be careful about that. Usually you see the Kappa, you know, pointing out the, the imperfect tense, okay, and that's just the deal. So, but the Sigma is doing that here, so the Sigma is telling you that this is an Aris tense, I mean, uh, it's, it's uh, that, that, uh, Poyesomen. It's absolutely glorious. Let us make it right there. I mean, I could put it a little bit more higher. I, put, I could put it on the kite so the watchtower could see and fly it over their building. I mean, I just could do that to let us make. Boy, yes, I'm in. A subjunctive. The mood of poss possibility or probability. You know what I'm saying? Exhortation. Exhortation done by one of the Trinitarian members by one of the members of the family of the trinity by one of the persons of the godhead by one of the members of the triune god by one of the members in the pool of the deity and there's only three in that club it's an exclusive club guys it's like the xbox that's just the deal you can't play halo you understand what i'm saying on playstation whatever I lost count. It's probably six by now. Who knows? I think it was. I think it's five. That's just a DC point L right there. Electrical farm, forty-one sixty. This is this, this, this is tagged by that number. Let's check it out. <clears throat> All right. Definition. Hey, to make, okay, uh, manufacture. Okay, construct, and then B, okay, to do, act, cause. You understand what I mean? That's just a deal. Now remember, there's different, there's different ways of looking at this word apoyeo. There's different words, ways of looking at it. It doesn't mean created all the time. Here it does. And in Genesis it does. I understand that. I agree. But when the witnesses use, they don't use this, this Greek word, but... If they knew about it, they could say, well, listen. Epoyesin is found and recorded in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and it's found and recorded in Acts chapter Praxis Apostle on the Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, verse 36. What are you going to do with that? Well, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave it right there, like, like, uh, like uh, Fort Griswold used to say in Alabama. I'm going to leave it right there. I ain't going to do nothing with it. I'm going to leave it right there and pro proclaim it to you. You know what I mean? Now let me let me let the Bible speak. Let's go, 
Okay, to John, because we have to mention this. It's just this, you know, it's just this, that's just the deal. Because create doesn't mean, I mean, uh, poieo doesn't mean create all the time. And we're going to prove that right here. Once or forever. You know what I'm saying? We could do it in a lot of places. But I'm just going to pick one. I could pick, okay, First John chapter 1 verse uh, 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 10. I could pick, okay, different verses of the Bible where poieo is used. I just, just pick one. The famous verse found and recorded, and to, to prove to you that it doesn't mean to make all the time, it doesn't mean create, you understand what I'm saying? So let's go to verse 33, you understand? That's just a deal. Let's go there. Well, let's go close, you know, I could take care of that myself if it's not the verse. Yeah, it is. It says over here, answered, okay, apocryphe, apocryphe, san, actually, apocryphe, san, okay, um, and the sigma and the alpha there are pointing out the errors, tense, I believe, there. Okay. Apokrisetha, apokrisetsan, okay, him, alto, okay, uh, says over here, hoi. Okay, so that's just a deal. Where am I at over here? Hoi, okay, uh, hoi, um, and it's the Jews, okay. Eudaioi, Eudaioi, okay, the Jews, in the plural, because of the Yoda, making it in the nominative plural, for, okay, uh, Peri says over here, a good work, it says over here, Kalu, and it says over here, Argu, okay, not, and that's U, we uh, do stone, okay, lethazo men. And you see that men there? It's in the plural again. See the men? Plural. You see? You see what I'm saying? You said, and that's in your case, it's a construction, no gender. A four, okay, petty. Blasphemy, okay. It says over here, blasphemias. Blasphemous guy, and check this out, guys. Because Hati, okay, you, you, Su, from Su Su Soi Se, a nominative, uh, uh, a singular, uh, second person personal pro, uh, pro, uh, a pronoun, okay, so, amen, anthropos, amen, okay. Being hon, okay, participle. That's a participle there, uh, uh, Omicron and Nu, okay, that's participle. See also different constructions for the participle, the Nu and the Tau, that will indicate to you that that's a participle, okay. Make, poi ace, and that's in the third person, or actually a uh, second person. Poi ace, make yourself, okay, say out on. Make yourself a K God Theon. No article, by the way. No article. Make yourself God. Look at the word. Poies from Poieo. 4160. Same Greek word. Found and recorded elsewhere. So he wasn't, Jesus wasn't making himself, like he wasn't creating himself, okay, to be God, literally. He was proclaiming himself to be God. And also, they were thinking like this. They were saying, well, he's just making himself to be God. Well, he had to correct them. He didn't take the God uh, uh, a portion away, if you will. But he was adding that you didn't get it completely right. I was making myself out to be the son of God also. And that's why he brought out brilliantly, okay? Okay, my English, guys. Brilliantly, okay? It's ridiculous. Brilliantly. Don't laugh at my English. This is my baby's laughing at me, Anna Devine. That's <laughs> just a deal. Brilliantly, I may add. Okay. Hello, I'm coming, my love. I mean, he did that brilliantly, guys. He picked Psalm 82, verse 6, which mentions okay, God and sons at the same time. And so they didn't get it right. He wasn't correcting them, uh, saying uh, that they, you know, that 
<laughs> correcting them and, and, and telling them that, no, no, I'm not God, but I'm just a son of God. No, because they just got it half right. You know what I'm saying? So he brings up the song. Quiet! That's just a deal. I have to go, guys. That's my baby. I mean, she is just a baby. Okay, John chapter 10, verse 33. Now, what did we learn? Well, I mean, we learned if we could go back here, guys. I don't know if we could go all the way back. You understand what I'm saying? Let's see if we can go all the way back over here. I see. The Greeks are Georgian. The Greeks are Georgian says over here, Kai epen hafe as, okay? Poi eso men, poi eso men anthropon. That's what it says. Okay? Okay? And this is a subjunctive and it has a plural personal ending men, M E N or mu epsilon nu. This is proven in Trinity. Now, you're not going to see the word three until you get, okay, to the word, okay, um, uh, what's that, what's that Hebrew word, okay, um, shaloshe, I think it's the word shaloshe, shalosh, okay, in, in, uh, uh, chapter 18, okay, of this book, she's really bothering me, guys, it's very difficult to, to, to go on, so I better go, okay. This angel Kenyan is given glory. To God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were very much alive when Jesus said those words. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and give me a comment on the screen. I'm sorry I had a uh, break up so abruptly. And then uh, I'm surprised. I said abruptly fine. <laughs> okay, you see what I'm saying? But you see the Trinity in Genesis and it unravels. As we go, uh, uh, um, it's just like, you know, you don't, you don't stuff a banana in your mouth, guys. You peel it little by little, and then you eat the fruit thereof. And that's what we're doing, and, and we're reading the Bible, and it's doing it for us. It's just peeling off little by little, okay, the doctrine of the Trinity, meaning so you can eat the fruit thereof. The Trinity is like a fruit, the doctrine, you understand what I'm saying? Taste and see that the Lord is good, that the Lord is gracious. It's not going to tell you Trinity right off the, I mean, right, the three right off the bat. But it tells you in 17 uh, chapters later about three men visiting Abraham. That's just the deal. Why not two? Why not one? Why not five? Does it say in, 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 the, in the Old Testament with this eye closed? Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. You understand what I'm saying? In chapter 6 of Isaiah. Why not? Why not one or two times? Why not four to ten times? No, because it's trying to prove the Trinity. The Trinity is in the Bible. I gotta go, guys. Bye. Late throat. Okay. Goodbye, guys.